Well, this video gives you all an overview of the type of application that we are trying to automate and also the details of the test project that we are using for this demo and also the details of the Cucumber feature file and the scenarios that we are trying to validate today. So I hope most of you are familiar with this sample flight application which comes along with the HP Unified Functional Testing Tool. And let us try to log into this application with valid user credentials. So let me enter the valid username and let me enter the valid password and hit OK. So I should be able to see the details of this particular application. And I've got two different sections here. One is called the book flight section and another one is the search order section. So book flight section consists of travel from locations, travel to location and the travel date. So which can be selected using this and also the travel class and the travel tickets also it has got something to search for the flights that is find flights so once you are good with the selections you can go ahead and it's find flights it will give you the list of flights so we have got other section called as search order so where you can search for your selected or the book flight with the help of name and date as well as with the help of order number so let us look into more details of book flight section. So this is the section what we are trying to validate today using our test project. So let us say the from location can be Sydney to Seattle. And let me select the travel date as 9th September 2016. And let me select the travel class as first class and let the travel tickets be one and I'll go ahead and hit find flights. <coughs> now I should be able to see list of flights in the select flight section. So this scenario will be validated with the help of test project today where I try to select from flight to flight and go ahead and hit search and I should be able to see the list of flights for the search criteria that has been opted by the traveler. Let us get into the test project. So I'm making use of a page object model and the factory design pattern. So where I would define the page objects in this particular Java class. So it is trying to find this particular object with the help of XPath. And it is nothing but the username field and the password field and the submit button from field to field, travel date, travel class, etc. So these are the test objects that you need for validation in scenario. So I also got a definition class which gives you more details on the actions performed by every storyline. For example, I am logged into Windows Flight desktop application. So this storyline will help me out to log into the Windows desktop flight application. So it tries to input the username, input the password and hit submit button. So the definition class gives more information on the actions performed by each of the storylines. So let us get into the feature file to understand what is the scenario that we are trying to validate today. So we have got a feature called as validation of Windows Flight Desktop application and we have got a background which says I am logged into Windows Flight Desktop application and we have got a scenario outline which says verify book flight module of the application and we also got given when then which has to validate the scenario. So given the book flight module shows up from and to destination. So this storyline just makes sure that the fields that we are trying to perform some actions are available and are displayed. So that is why it goes and just checks if it is displayed or if it is present. So it's just using is element present on this field and making sure that the fields are there so that we can go ahead and select the appropriate value. Similar way we try to validate travel date class and tickets objects on the application then we'll try to fill in the information. We'll try to select the travel from information, travel to information, travel date, travel class. Then the traveler should be able to see some available flights. So it should not be zero. He should be able to see some available flights. And we also got a test data in the example section of the cucumber feature, which is nothing but travel from is Sydney, travel to is Seattle, 
travel date is 9th September 2016 and travel class is first class. Let me try to run this particular feature file as a JUnit test and let's see how it goes. So whenever the Cucumber feature file is being executed, it also locks some information for the user to make sure that it is doing whatever it is supposed to do. So for example, it started with the browser start time or the application start time. So it took some seconds to start the application, which can be two to 10 seconds, not more than that. And now it tries to validate the fields. So it is saying that the login username field exists and it is displayed. So the login field exists and it is displayed. So it found the login field and now the next step is to enter the information what we have provided. For example, we have got John as the login username. So it is trying to enter John. And next step is it is trying to look for the password field. And once it is visible or once it is present, then it will go ahead and enter the password. I think it found the password field so it says login password exists and is displayed so it is going to enter the appropriate value defined by the user in the test and then it will try to find the ok button and once the ok button is present and visible it will go ahead and hit ok so that we get the next detailed page. I think it found the OK button. So login submit button exists and is displayed. So now it is going to hit OK. There are a couple of challenges and exceptions from this tool. Since it is pretty new, it started in the last quarter of September. So it is not end of the world, but still we can do a lot more with this version. And the team is working on the next version. So most probably it should be more stable in the upcoming versions. I think we got into the detailed page. So we have got two different sections here. One is the book flag section and other one is the search order section. And the storyline says to validate the fields before it has to operate on it. So it tries to validate each of the fields. So the log file says I am logged into Windows Flight Desktop application and it also tried to find the travel from city drop down box. It says that travel from city drop down is present. So now it is trying to find the travel to city drop down. So it is trying to find that now. So once it finds the travel to city drop down, it is trying to validate the other objects which is present on the book flight section. Vinium is a separate driver so the script or the code has to communicate through that driver and then only it can validate the fields. That is why there is a small delay here but it can be due to the machine what I'm using so most of the times it will be hosted on the server or a virtual grid. So definitely it should take very less time and it should be faster still. But since I'm using my own machine, so maybe it's taking few more seconds to communicate with the Vinium driver. But still it told that travel to city dropdown is present and the book flight module shows up and it found most of the objects in the book flight module and it's good now in the book flight section. And now it is trying to find out the travel date and travel date is present. That is what it says. So travel date is present. So it looks like the travel class field also exists. So from field to field date travel class and it is trying to look for the travel tickets now. So once it finds the travel ticket then it says that the complete book flight section is okay and all the objects on the book flight section is visible and good for the next set of actions that we are trying to do. So let us wait and yeah looks like the travel tickets section is present and the module looks good so now it will try to select the appropriate values for from city 
and it tries to select the appropriate value for two city like from and to destinations so it's good now it is going to enter the travel date which is nothing but 9th september 2016 that we have defined in the cucumber example what we have so it should be able to find the field and enter the appropriate travel date so once it enters that it will have to look for the travel class so yeah it found the travel date field and it is trying to enter the value from the examples that is the test data what we have and next step is it has to find the travel class so driver is taking a little bit more time and it hit find flights now so the validation what we have here is to make sure that for the search criteria it shows the list of flights and once the list of flights is available then we are good with that scenario that scenario just passes and we make sure that we are good for the search criteria we have our list of flights and that scenario passes and we can get into the details of the reports so it needs to find available flights list is present so that is what is the log it says that the flights are available for the search criteria and one scenario passed and six steps available in that scenario also passed so we are good so let's get into the results part of the project so let me try to refresh this project to make sure that we get the updated results and let me try to hit feature overview html to see the feature file results so it says that 100 percent passed and one scenario and one passed six steps and all six passed so total time taken for execution of this scenario is 6 minutes 38 seconds 124 milliseconds so it again varies time to time so there are a couple of times where i was able to execute the same scenario in four minutes so maybe i'm trying to record this session and that is also consuming some memory from the machine so that is why it took a minute or two more so if we definitely try to run this from the server or the virtual grid server then definitely it should take two minutes not more than that so let us try to get into the details of this feature file so it has got the background which says that the user is logged into the windows desktop flight application which took one minute and we have got a scenario outline with the two hooks which is nothing but which is nothing but before scenario and after scenario so those are the hooks and we have also got steps and which says the storylines and each storyline took how many minutes or how much time so for example given the book flight module shows up from and to destination it took 1 minute 10 seconds and 488 milliseconds so same way if you see the data which has been defined in examples that is the test data so the feature file or the storyline picks it dynamically so for this particular scenario outline it picked sydney to seattle destination which took 20 seconds to select those two so then the traveler should be able to see the available flights which took 39 seconds to make sure that there's a list on the search page so which is not bad but still if we try to run this on a virtual server it should take very less time looks like we are good uh, this is something which i wanted to show you all so let me know if you guys need any help in configuring vinium windows based automation tool to the project or if you want to develop something from scratch for your project which should be well and good so let me know and this helps to automate windows phone apps windows store apps and windows desktop application i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks